Alright guys, so every single person needs to bring their review packet every single day. This is the focus of the week. Um, remember, in exchange, you work hard for me, I work hard for you. This is what we're doing, even though this is literally the last thing I want to be doing, but that's fine. Uh, it's important to you people. This packet is worth 100 points for first period. Uh, this is due Tuesday, depending on the day of your exam, is when your review packet is due. It is worth 100 points. If you do not bring it on exam day, I am going to bleed you of points. Because all you had to do was copy it while I sit here and write it. Everyone's clear on that. You are more than welcome to turn it in late, but I am going to bleed you of a ton of points. If you do not write down everything I have down, I'm also going to bleed you of 100 points. Because 100 points to copy something is ridiculous in AP World. Can we agree? So, do your job. I'll do mine. I don't feel like answering the first three questions, so I'm going straight to number four. Because it sounds more entertaining. Okay, what disputes led to the establishment of governments in Neolithic communities? So here we go. Due to mixing? Due to the mixing? Oh, three. Just kidding. Oh, shit. See? Thank you, Wyatt. Going right to four. Due to the mixing? Of major cities? And populations? with diverse backgrounds for the first time governments were needed to keep order land ownership and violence were among the largest issues. Perfect. Five. How the geography of Mesopotamia differed from that of Egypt and the effects of geography had on each civilization. Here we go. Mesopotamia. Tigris and Euphrates. Around Mesopotamia, they needed the flooding but it was unpredictable no large infrastructure except for ziggurats. Egypt. Nile had predictable flooding. Had predictable flooding pattern and lots of infrastructure. <coughs> Example, pyramids, Yellow River, parentheses China, unpredictable, Flooding, parentheses, China sorrow, no infrastructure, Indus River, parentheses India, reliable, R reliable river, not as much infrastructure as Egypt. Perfect. Writing systems. What are the writing systems of the four ancient river civilizations? Mesopotamia. Q 
cuneiform. And it happens to look like triangles. And it's made with triangular mallet. Then you have Egypt. It's hieroglyphics. Parentheses picture like. You got your bars. Got your people. Then you have your Indus River, which is Sanskrit. which looks like cursive. And then of course you have your Yellow River, which is pictography. And it is without bars, but it looks like your hieroglyphics. All right, period two. What events distinguish European and, e and Asian classical and neoclassical time periods? Europeans. Classical are the Greeks, Romans, and Persians. They develop trade and military power, flourishing arts and culture. Asian, you have uh, your classical, are your Chin and Han. They develop on the need for a government. They have flourishing academics, parentheses, Confucianism. Are we having fun yet? All right, I'm flipping. So, if you are falling behind, which is fine, uh, watch my video. Falling behind and not being prepared for the next day is not okay. Is everyone clear on that? So, if you have fallen behind, then you need to watch my video, and it needs to be done by the next day when you show up to my class. Is that clear? Do not wait until the end. I will have no kindness. All right, here we go. So, the question is, uh, what inter interregional trade routes and products exchange that existed at the end of periodization? So inter regional parentheses in between regions. You have south east. Asia, Africa, Indian Ocean Basin. Indian Ocean Basin. You're going to be moving bananas. East Asia to Europe. Starts the Silk Road. And you're moving silk and spices. Intra regional parentheses in the same region. 
bless you. You have North Africa, Trans-Saharan, Train, Gold, Gems, and Slaves. Okay, in what ways man uh, in what ways man changes his environment to accommodate change uh, trade all civilizations are trying to make trade faster and more efficient East Asia, Grand Canal, Mediterranean, Red Sea, we got road systems, and that's done by the Persians and Romans. South, East Asia, you have roads as well, road systems, and that's also done by the Persians. Compare and contrast the Bantu and Indo-European migration. Bantu, you've got move around Africa. Forced to leave. Then we have Indo Euro Indo Europeans moved around Europe. Expanding population. Warriors. Similarities. Spread language. Spread uh, metal gurgy. And advanced technology. Why is Buddhism considered export religion? In what areas of the world did Buddhism take root and why? Nickname. Export. Because it was spread by trade. Starts in India, but migrates. China, it was seen as an alternative to Hinduism, they use monasteries to achieve Enlightenment. Stirred by Siddhartha. Parentheses, aka Buddha. <clears throat> what are some modern day evidence of Hellenism in the extended Hellenistic world? Hellenistic refers to the Greeks. The Greeks had left art, sculptures, 
and other cultural aspects throughout Med Sea Basin. In former policies. Art can be found in Turkey in Sri Lanka parentheses near India. Which areas of the world develop city-states instead of empires and why? Empires. Were built. By civilizations. With enough resources. To support itself and its desire to expand. Example, Romans, Persians, and West Africans, parentheses, Malai. City-states built by civilizations that were limited by geography who needed to import goods examples Greeks parentheses polis Phoenicians and Mayans parentheses Americas Explain the relationship between imperial, imperium, empire, and emperor. Imperial. Means all powerful. Imperium. Means power. Example, East Asia. Empire built around the idea of expansion, emperor, a person in charge of expanding the empire. Example, Europe, Med Sea Basin. Imperial expansion is the same as expansion of an empire. All right, I'm gonna keep going. The faster we get it done, the faster it's over. Is that fair? Polytheism, no founder. Mostly. 
used by nomadic groups or hunter slash gatherers. They created this religion to explain the world around them. Judaism, Abraham, a belief in the monotheistic parentheses first to do so believe in Ten Commandments and that they are the chosen ones Christianity, Paul of Zars, parentheses, based on Jesus, built upon Judaism, and extended it to include Jesus. Believed, believes Jesus died for our sins. And we'll stop there. Because I don't want to start Islam if I can't finish it. All right, you can put your boards back. My next experience. Sorry, we need to use your boards. Tomorrow we definitely will because we'll review what we covered. So you are 100% responsible for knowing everything I wrote down today. Is everyone clear on that? Tomorrow, if you make a mistake on one of them, it's fine. But if you can't give me numerous answers that I covered today, I will lose my mind. Is everyone clear? Okay, so whatever you, I have written, you are completely responsible for.